for the Sweet 16 battle. And this is a Sweet 16 like no other, with plants, insects, mollusks, and more in the mix. Let's get to it. After the battle with the boar, the tiger was wounded. Even worse, the wound was infested with maggots. Ooh. Suddenly, he was March Mammal magic to the shallow waters of the Bahamas. The giant squid lay in wait further out. The salt water flushed the maggots away, but the dangerous riptide pulled the weakened tiger further and further out to the tongue of the ocean. This time, the tongue got the tiger. The giant squid advances. Hi everybody, Carl the Bat here, and I'm high above the seal's beach, where the leatherback turtle, well, she's just appeared. The turtle's trying really hard to walk, but she's having a hard time getting around on all the rocks and stuff, and that seal is getting angry. Oh no, the seal has just run over top of the turtle. Can we get a report on her? Is she okay? Yes, she is okay, folks. She is uninjured, but very, very offended. And now she's going back to the water where it's quieter. So it looks like the seal wins. The shark was swimming off the coast of Del Mar, California, as the bee was March Mammal Magic to the scene. The bee was alive, but mortally wounded after stinging the bowerbird. And she drifted down to float on the water. A ripple from the shark's dorsal fin swept the bee from this mortal coil. Farewell, brave combatant. The shark advances. Back in Kanji National Park, the cob was grazing. The cobra lily suddenly appeared in front of it. The cob was startled. Was this a python? The cob approached slowly, sniffed, bit, and then jumped. The cobra lily is now truly salad. And the cob advances. The porcupine found itself on St. Kilda in the Outer Hebrides. And it also found a dead sheep for food. But the skua was on the scene and dove down at the porcupine. A quill pierced the skua's foot. But the skua kept up the attack. And the porcupine backed up right to the cliff's edge and then right over it. <sighs> the skua wins. We join our scene already in progress. The sperm whale is swimming quickly as it is being pursued by a pod of orcas. The water is turning red, but it is not blood. It is whale poo. This defense mechanism stops the orcas and then the stag is transported to the scene and the orcas decide that venison will do just fine. The whale wins. It is the Battle of the Tiny Terrors. The shrimp is only barely half a stoat long, but that still is much more than the caterpillar, which is 0 0.06 stoats long. The model cup caterpillar was just finishing his cocoon when droop, it got March Mammal magic to the mantis shrimp's habitat under the sea. The shrimp was busy still defending its burrow and it didn't even notice as the cocoon floated up to the surface. The caterpillar drifts off to shore, and the mantis shrimp is going into the elite trait. A pack of wild dogs had taken down a wildebeest. Our wild dog combatant had already eaten. When he saw the polecat as it arrived, he pounced. The polecat hissed as the wild dog played with it, batting it about. Suddenly, however, the whole pack went on alert. Lions were approaching. The polecat took advantage of this distraction by, um, <clears throat> I quote, emitting a foul-smelling secretion from enlarged anal sacs. <laughs> and that happened right in the wild dog's face. The dog reacts, and the polecat flees the scene before the lions arrive. The now really stinky dog wins. The lineup is set for the elite trait. Tune in for more March Mimal Madness, and as always, thank you for watching.